freshman year in high school, people in my class were getting ranked, getting recruited. For me, it was like, I need to like, like, let's, like I want to be there and I want to be at the top of it. So I ended up printing off a list, put it right next to my door. I think it was like all the guys that were ranked. My name wasn't up there. And um, I just knew that that's where I wanted to be. Ever since I was young, this is the only thing I ever wanted to do. Grew up in Overland Park, Kansas, in a really competitive household. I played a little college football at the University of Minnesota, late 80s, early 90s. My wife has been a competitive athlete her whole life. Our daughters, Maya, is a basketball player at Drake University in Des Moines. Our oldest, Lauren, was a basketball player at K-State. He's always taken it seriously. He's a pretty serious kid. He always sets goals, and then he makes a plan, and then he achieves it, and then he just does it over and over and over. I met Graham and his family after his sixth grade season. You never, in my position, I don't want to say, like, this is the best sixth grader I've ever seen throw a ball, you know, but with the family and things like that, genetically, you know that he has a chance. He started his high school career at Bishop Miege High School, and um, I was actually the offensive coordinator and quarterback's coach at the time. He got caught behind another Gatorade Player of the Year. He just realized he'd have a hard time uh, being the guy on the field. So we had to make a tough decision to find a new place for him. And felt really blessed with the great opportunity that came at Blue Valley North. He was there for his final two years of high school. You know, he jumped off the stat sheet game one. Five, six touchdown game right off the bat. And so he knew right away. I know. Sounds familiar, right? This is what he does. How we won the state championship too. I mean, you know, going on a long 95 yard drive and he dives in the end zone for the go ahead touchdown. He's a winner. And the starting quarterback here is gonna be Graham Mertz. Going to Wisconsin, the Gatorade player of the year in Kansas. Had all kinds of offers. That was a dream for him. Getting invited to the All-American game was always on his list of things to accomplish. Mertz drops back, on the inside, walks it to the other side of the end zone, and Graham Mertz now has two touchdown passes. I went into that game with a little chip on my shoulder, and I knew, being a kid from Kansas, that, oh, Kansas football isn't isn't this, isn't that, and I just kind of wanted to just show, like, all right, like, I'm from Kansas, but we got some dudes in Kansas. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that we know who the MVP is. It's Graham Mertz, so a record today, five touchdown passes. The list. Funny thing is, it's still hanging up in my room right now here in Madison. Still pushes me to this day. My name's still not up there. I just I never printed out a new one, and that that's how I, I still keep that like underdog mentality and knowing that nothing's ever given to you, and you, you got to go earn everything. I honestly felt bad for him, even before he got here. They were calling him like the Messiah, like he's gonna save the program, and he hadn't even stepped on the field yet. You could definitely see the hype. You notice it more around him than from Graham himself. On campus, everybody's like starstruck, and I'm in our apartment like, dude, you gonna take out the trash yet? For me, it's always just been about producing, and I've never really tried to think about the hype or let it get to my head. I just try to be the same guy like I always am. Nobody handled it better than him coming in and saying, I got a lot of work to do. If I want to play and be successful, then I know that I got to cancel out some of that outside noise and, and just trust the process, be in the moment. Don't be too far ahead of yourself. With the red shirt year, he did a great job being a sponge with Jack. I still remember the moment, seeing Jack go down, everybody just like kind of held their breath like, what next? And looking at Graham be like, let's go. Like, it's, it's your time. That next day, he texted me, he's like, we're not losing a game, all this crazy stuff. I kind of walked up to him after the team broke down and I was like, all right, it, you might be right. We, like, we're going now. Graham Burt's the first Wisconsin freshman to start the season opener since 1978. I'd been prepping for that moment, so I was ready to step in and just play ball. Graham Burt's tied the single game record in school history for consecutive completions of the five passing touchdowns also ties the single game Wisconsin record. I'd just been practicing for a year and I was always just trying to complete the ball. 
and that kind of just carried over to the game, I guess. So uh, it was, I thought it was all right. <laughs> Woke up Saturday morning, felt like just a normal Saturday morning after a game, and got COVID tested. Turned out that my antigen test came back positive. Major news in the Big Ten Wednesday as Wisconsin announced the cancellation of its game Saturday against Nebraska due to a COVID outbreak within the Badger program. The first day I was down in the dumps. I did have like every symptom apparently. But after the 10 days, I'm completely back to normal. All my heart tests, everything came back great. Went from quarantine to right back into it. As soon as I tested positive, first thing was, all right, how long until I can get back? I saw it was the Friday before Michigan. I'm like, all right, like one full practice. Like, that's the goal. Almost like first day back and he's smiling again, just happy to be out there. And I was like, all right, Graham, it's time to go. And he's like, we're like, it's over. We're, like already, it's a mentality, it's over with. And just like that, it was just back to clicking. Birds for the end zone, touchdown! They find Jake Ferguson. Graham running up to me, just screaming. I'm like, dude, I get it, we just scored, and he's just got this insane energy about him. Always upbeat, smiling, ear to ear, just ready to go play ball.